Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, welcome back to this let's play of Imperialism as the Nation of Phoenix, where we are still at war with the world, and as you can probably realize by the fact that the music is playing in the background, this is a new session. Uh, yeah, so the music will probably disappear as soon as we click a turn. So yeah, we are yeah, at a slight disadvantage in terms of battle, but as we saw in the last election, we actually got a fair number of votes from our competitors, which I do not quite understand, but... Oh, at war with us, they vote for us instead of their ally. Uh, go figure. Uh, status. So, yeah, we still look to be far ahead on council power. And for whatever reason, the other guys decided to vote for us rather than these others. I don't understand this. Diplomatic strength. Uh, go figure, we're at war with everyone, so that shouldn't surprise anyone. Military strength, we are now ahead, which is good. Not that we've been able to do much about it. Our merchant marine has been tremendously damaged in all this. And that's of course is a problem. And of course we're now falling behind in exports and everything. Our industry is supposed to be supposedly the largest. Same with the labor force, I don't know. And we're still making the most money for overseas profits, but that won't last because all of our overseas possessions are dreadfully exposed. And of course our country is still cut in half because of this darn, darn mountain chain. Ugh. And someday we'll get that extra new steam engine and that's gonna solve so many problems. Hopefully. Okay. Let's get rolling and see if we can survive this. We are just pretty much defending right now while I'm trying to build up enough artillery to see if I can take out one of the AIs. Uh. Yes, I know they have too much big navies. Ugh. There's nothing I can do about it other than just slowly build up. Um, I think no on the bull there. Uh, no there. Find one unit then for the relationships boost. Uh, we need as much timber as we can get our hands on. Same with coal. Oh darn, I took too many chips now, didn't I? Ah, blast it. Okay. And we are being attacked. Um, yeah, deploy. He attacks with one infantry. Oh, he's gonna die. Charge! And you can stay. Watch artillery. I hope he won't retreat too quickly. Probably will. No? Oh, glorious. And he's retreating, so he won't be... Shooting back. <laughs> Die! One unit for Paragon. Good. And... Oh, I'm all interrupted. It wasn't just intercepted. That's good. We fought them back there. Sold some clothing. Bought some stuff. Oh. Oh! Did I just see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get lost. This. Ooh. New invention, compound steam engine. Oh, we're definitely going to buy that one. We're gonna, we need that one so badly. Okay, no use for you because I can't really afford to do anything anywhere. Compound steam engine. Yeah, uh, you know what? I kind of, I think we need to plan for this immediately. Um, we need to connect over here. Let's see. Do we go from there or do we go from here? Or It looks prettier if we go from the stations. I think. You are just gonna wait. Those are two new artillery pieces. Send them up to the front. Yeah, everyone is trying to land here. So you keep defending. Definitely gonna buy the compounds, the imagine. We could even afford it. Good God. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, thank goodness. And that also means that we need to deal with that. Ah, da, da, da. We were also trying to make two more artillery pieces. And we need to train more engineers. Can we afford it? No, we can't. So now we need to make more money. Because we need to connect our resources quickly. 
Uh, do we have enough spare for two clippers? Yeah, good. Let's make two clippers. Hopefully they can escape the blockades. Uh, more resources. What do we have? We have a tiny bit of extra lumber. I do need more paper because we need to train more experts very soon. We have no steel, we have no excess coal, but that won't help us much. I can't make more of those, can't make more of those. Need more money. Not sure how the heck we're gonna swing that. We can sell four cloth, that's got not gonna do anything. We need a lot more than that. Um no point in trying to sell goods because anyone buying those are at war with us. I'm not going to be bidding on wool at all this turn. I'm just going to focus on these resources. I'm just going to see. Have anyone. Yeah, Dedge is probably going to be lost and going to go to war with us. We need to just conquer them instead. Uh, we don't own any resources in Dej, so it's going to be very hard to get a diplomatic uh, relations there up in time. Okay, the compound steam engine is a godsend. We're gonna, we, that might be enough to turn us around, so at least we can secure our own continent. That's going to be good. Uh, I could take a chance here. I mean, our line here is pretty thinly defended. But I don't think he has anything except in his capital right now. So I could try to just abandon the entire front line here. Uh, not this one. No, I think I wanna... Well, I think Haxako is doing the same thing, but this is coastal. And I don't want them to suddenly think, hey, let's invade. So, no, I'm going to keep those there. Probably. Let's see now. I have seven artillery. I'm going to get two more, so that's eleven. Uh, eleven light artillery. That might be enough. That might be enough. I don't know. He has four heavy artillery defending. So I'm going to lose at least two artillery units. At the very least. Probably far more. Yeah, we have to chance it next turn. Um, yeah. Okay, so we, for now we're just going to see if we can get this into a somewhat positive balance again. I can't doubt it, but we have to try. The music is gone, of course, as you've noticed. Um, yeah, and again, we are at... The, yeah, the enemy has a larger fleet, I know. There's not much I can do about it. And I do need more people so I can improve more resources. And I need more ships, still. Uh, our garrison is being attacked. Oh, no, no, no. Our, our garrison? Oh, right, because we are actually in control of... Uh, yeah, that's not good, and he's already... Does he have a range there? He doesn't have range here. Nor here. Does he have range here? No? Just stay there. Okay, so he moved into range. Because that's what he can do. So next turn I'm gonna be dead. Uh, as we expected. Let's just see if we can hurt one of them before he bombards us to pieces. There we go. And that's it. We could have just sat in the trenches. That would have taken less damage, but wouldn't have mattered. That was, of course, our colony. And the colony is going to die. Which was a given. Uh, just an interrupted trade. That's okay. Victory at sea. Okay, so... What they basically mean, then, is that our escorts prevented him from raiding something. That's the victory. And, of course, the province was lost. That's to be expected. Hershner will just disappear. Now we are not making much money. And our overseas profits aren't going to be enough. So, compound steam engine. Woohoo. New train engine. It looks like a 
Now what is this? Is it a mogul? Is it an American? Six wheels? I don't know. It's been a long time since I... Uh, recall the train types. Yeah, of course. Everyone forms lines with them. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. We have lots of problems. I know. I'm trying to fix. And it ain't easy. Um, Just sleep. I'm not going to use you anytime. Or maybe I am. Oh, God. As long as these guys aren't... This is problematic. Do I want to spend resources buying goods that will probably be lost anyway? And that's what I'm wondering about right now. Because long term I cannot possibly defend that stuff until I have naval supremacy. Nah, I'll just leave it be. I Yeah, he's buying there and yeah, this is going to be lost. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. On the long in the long term. Um, so I'm gonna just focus on con controlling my own continent, I think. That seems like a better idea. Uh, just bring the experts home. There's not much you can do over there, and we're not gonna be able to boost relations high enough for it to matter. Um, yeah, there is a train station over there. Okay, so we have three. Yeah, we have to try. Try to kill them. More artillery. Uh, we're also going to send them up here in case of counterattack. He's still trying to land, so keep them there. I need to train more experts. Not, not army. I need to train more experts. Uh, not that either. There we go, university. Uh, don't can't afford it. Need to change our balance first. That's okay. We have three guns and a lot of coal. We should probably make another merchant trader. Or do we save up for it? No, more merchant traders. I think they are more efficient, right? Too weak to fight in the line of battle. Fast scouts, commerce traders, yeah. Though I would like to have more heavy ships too. I just do not have the capacity to spare. So let's see, I'm making two guns this turn. Okay then, let's wait one turn, then we can build a heavy ship instead. We have enough timber, I think, for one more clipper. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose a lot of clipper ships. So I'm just trying to stay ahead there. And we still need so much in terms of resources, but just yeah. So Zinlu, uh, Patagon decided to uh, okay. And they are equally liked. Yeah, there's not much I can do here. I need to, I need to take control of my own continent. Now that I have the compound steam engine, at least I can tie our country together, so I can still can again access the resources on the far side here. Which I'm what I'm what I'm going to do with that guy. I'm just going to build a rail down here. Then we need to connect over to the iron here. Then we need to connect up from here. Yeah, we just have to do that quickly. Connect all these resources. And that'll be lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then we'll finally be able to access the stuff in here too. Okay. So the question is though, will we be able to take out this? We will see next turn, and it could be a disastrous mistake, but yeah, I just want this to so be sorted out. 
quickly. Yes, I know. Okay. Get oh, not much timber to be sold, unfortunately, so I'm still gonna buy up coal because suddenly we're gonna need it. Uh, auto deploy, that's fine. What do you have? One, two, three, four artillery. Uh, and two grenadiers, one regular infantry, and four others. Yeah, this is not going to be a pretty battle. Um, let's start by setting the cavalry out on the flanks. He is not going to attack us anytime soon. Uh, general, just stay behind. Um, you move there. Why, is, why do you... Uh, why can't you move... This is, annoys me. Why can't the artillery that was in the front move? Be the first to be selected. Ah, uh, go there. I need to be patient on this one. I think. Careful positioning. And now you. Unfortunately, that means I'm gonna have a ton of artillery units that are gonna be a bit slow in deploying. Um. Yeah, that's, that was all of it. Let's see now. He has two artillery pieces on this side. So I'll have one square where I can access... No, these have too much range, don't they? Yeah. So, they'll be blasted to smithereens no matter what I do. Um, so he took two hits. And he's gonna take two hits. Or just one hit. Take another, and that's fine, and just stay there. That means he's not going to take any hits. Uh, I kind of want him to be the one that to be destroyed if they charge me. Okay, now we have to move forward with the artillery. We are locked in combat. I need to get further ahead. Oh boy, even further. Oh boy, okay. Destroy his artillery, that's our only hope. This is bad, because that means he can't possibly get far enough ahead to do that. Oh, bugger all. Um, okay, take on the infantry. That means you can't get... Uh, I, uh, don't they want to have the range? Very bad. That's it. This is very bad indeed. Most artillery won't actually get in range to take out his artillery. And that is very bad. This one's very badly damaged. It won't do much damage. So I'll rather try to smash the ones that are hurt. Oh boy. You need to move even further ahead. They are very exposed here. This is bad. But I have to do this. Uh, make sure that one's done. gone. In case we are completely destroyed here. Which could happen. This is actually pretty bad. This terrain was like, rather awful and I'm not... Okay, I should damage that one. Mm, oh no, 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 this is bad. So he has three artillery pieces that are still alive. They're not going to do too much damage. But he's definitely going to charge me now. Oh, yeah. uh, well, look, lucky egg there, I guess. Not as much damage as I feared. Um, I think I'm going to retreat him a little bit. He's going to stay. Um, okay, now... Now we can win, because he's not going to move forward until his artillery is dead. Uh, take out him. Okay. And you can't move forward either. You're locked. Again, try to kill the infantry. You can move forward. You're going to move forward, because I need you to take out his artillery. If you could please. There we go. 
Just destroy that one. And he need to move forward. Oh, this is risky. I'm gonna lose some artillery here. I'm almost certain of that. But it's gonna be worth it. Because we're gonna take his capital. We're gonna destroy him utterly. Destroy him utterly. Um, yeah, these guys are on a suicide charge. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's try to just hurt them a little bit. Problem is, this is going so fast I can't actually see if I'm losing units or not. You're gonna charge. Kill. You're gonna charge too. As are you. Not that much for our general to do. I go there and rally them. So, let's see, what do we kill first? Take out the grenadier, I think. We probably should just weaken him so he doesn't actually cause hurt. I probably can even retreat, really, because... Some of these are badly damaged, and I don't think he's gonna... I don't know if he's gonna have any kind of strength left after this. Maybe not, that's the last one with any combat strength. Yeah, he should start retreating. Good. Two of them surrendered out of the right. Now we can attack his general. We can even surra surround this general. Our oh, general just gonna sit. Oh, go here and give some morale push to you. Give chase. The ones we need to kill are the grenadiers because they would, they would defend this next, next province. And we don't want that happening. The Minutemen, they, they belong to this province, so they'll just disband. That's fine. And that general's gonna have one heck of a time trying to get away. Let's bombard him to death. And that's the end of the general. Very good. So now it's just as two Minutemen, and they're both retreating, so... Okay, that's the end of Zim. Yay, no casualties. That's a lot better than I expected. Lovely. Capital province taken. And we killed everything. And as you can see, Zim is now in in black because they're now in an anarchy. So everyone can attack that, those provinces. We did take a fair bit of damage. That's to be expected. Yeah, Your Excellency, I'm pleased to report that the capital has been expanded to accommodate increased diplomatic traffic, resulting from the glorious annexation of another great power. We will be able to recruit more workers to the city each turn. Yay, and let's see, one clipper and Zim Falls. Zim Falls, woohoo! When asked for the reason for the demise of Zim, my leading minister op op opined, blood and iron, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, provinces of Zim so far spared the invasion of enemy forces are expected to fall into anarchy. Yeah, Deneb forms alliance with Devron. Goody, 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 goody. I am happy! Very, very happy. Uh, there's no real point in continuing to explore for resources here. We're not going to buy them. We can't really afford it. Instead, we're going to go here and explore all the territories we're gaining from our... Former enemies. So, okay, we have tons of troops here. We're just gonna keep pushing immediately. These provinces are now in anarchy and they're lightly defended. Which means they will likely come under attack rather quickly. I think I'm gonna march these over to Zim. Uh, you're gonna wait, let's see. Has have the invasion plans changed? Yes, they have. Now they're trying to invade over here. So set Sail there. Right. Beachhead report one ship on the line. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe. Wait a second. Don't do this. We're gonna send you to join the offensive there. I'm just gonna push back from there to there to there. And then. And then there's Haksako. That's gonna be more difficult. Um, 
Yeah, that's gonna be more difficult. Uh, he has more units. Quite a lot more units. But that's okay. Look at this. Haha! -ha. All right, because now we get the entire transport grid. Uh, they don't have ships up here, so now I'm getting the entire transport grid he had up here. For now, anyway. That's not gonna last, but... That means we need a ton more rail cars. Uh, cut back the food transports to what we need. Let's see, we need how much grain? Nine? Yeah, nine. Yeah, bring in the gold and the finished goods. Definitely the steel. Oh, definitely the furniture. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, we need so much uh, so much materials here. Ah, we need more rail cars. And, of course, we still need the other engineer, but... Uh, oh, can we do? One engineer. We can recruit one engineer. Good, let's do that. We need to connect our country rather quickly. Um, beyond that, we need... Let's see, we wanted to make one heavy ship, so let's do that. Beyond that, all the steel will have to go into rail cars for a moment for some time. Just so we can transport goods. I expect that we'll get blockaded again. I would be very surprised if he doesn't blockade us. Uh, one more clipper ship, I want to be certain. Uh, rather, uh, the all the new. Oh, right. Uh, okay, Councillor Clipper, we need the timber for rail cars. Now we're out of. A workforce. Now I need more people. And I kind of need to get... Yeah, this is my, our only source of income right now, so I need to keep the textiles going. We are not making much money. We can't really afford to buy too much either. So, yeah, all of Hershen is going to disappear. That's to be expected. Uh, Cathay seems to be safe. Zinlu, I can't really do anything about. I'm gonna lose that eventually anyway. Zazi, if I ever... Yeah, they are gonna, gonna lose Zazi. Uh, so yeah. So before we lose all our overseas, six in overseas stuff, which we are gonna do, I'll just have to see if I can connect our country together. So I'm not blockaded to death. Uh, and we'll see. Spain and okay, or so far we which is please that Devron okay. Uh, so he's coming along too. Hmm. Okay, so now we'll just quickly try to take those three provinces, just eat what's left of Zim, and then we'll see if we can crack the capital of Hexaco. That will probably be a lot harder to do, because I think he had a large, large, much, larger ar much larger army. Yeah, there we go. So we'll see. Um, yeah, they are still too dangerous. I know, I know. Not much I can do about that. Let's buy resources, anything we can. And we are attacking onwards, yes, I know. Deploy. A lot of our forces are very badly, badly wounded, but that's okay. And one second. I have a cat that decided to intervene. Um, Come on, kitty. Don't attack the microphone. <laughs> okay, then let's see now. Um, Yeah, they are, the horses can just stay behind. Sink them in the general. The artillery, move ahead. Okay, boom. This shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, I could even wait for them to attack, but then at least... Well, they wouldn't. Not until we were in range, I think. Come on, let me target. There we go. doing as much damage as I'd hoped, but they are behind fortifications, so there's that. And one guy left. 
Let's see if I can get more guns on him. And that should be that. Yeah, he's gonna retreat. Oh, one of them had a little bit of combat strength left, unfortunately. So he managed to attack. Oh well. Don't need you, just need kaboom. More kabooms. There we go. Only killed one unit. And victory at sea. Yeah, okay, so he, in, in, he tried to interfere. And our forces managed to fend him off. Oh, that's good. Victory at seat there too, so we managed to beat him back. That's good. Or another victory at sea. Uh, didn't engage. He's just raiding me, unfortunately. Province taken. Yes, good. Yeah, yes, another the hamlet of Zim city. So his capital. Oh, it's become a village. Yeah, you just keep uh, discovering what's in the hills. And oh, he's not now. He's suddenly no longer blockading. Oh my goodness! So of course, now that I finally have the tech to survive this stuff, he's no longer blockading me. Ugh. Yeah, he's both trying to get down there. Not gonna succeed. Another heavy ship add to the line. Very good. A few more ships. Just try to transport. More goods, my goodness, we need so many more transports. Uh, or rather, rail yards. Rail cars. And we don't really have the manpower to do much either. Uh, okay, for one turn, you're not gonna build, uh, make any of those. We're just gonna make rail cars. Need to be able to transport the goods in. How much left do we have? Two more. Uh, we have enough fabric, so cut back that production until we can use all the resources. Yeah, 14 rail cars, that should suffice. Now, of course, we don't have any guns or timber or anything like that. We won't have that next turn either. So, yeah, rail cars, 14 rail, rail cars, that's gonna help a lot. And after that, we need to try to train more people, because now we're short of indust industrial capacity. Decrease that and just sell that stuff. We need, uh, yeah, we need resources at this point. Let's do not care about the overseas stuff, they're not gonna version is just gonna be lost. That's to be expected. That's okay. I might even consider, uh, I might even consider taking the uh, units here out of version. And just bring them home. That could ease, that could be valuable actually, because everyone is gonna, just gonna steamroll this stuff. But yeah, let's let's see if we can support them for a while. Okay, so all the fleets up here just vanished, which is good. All the fleets here vanished, so for some reason we can suddenly transport goods, which is good. He just goes here, and I don't know what he's trying to do here. I don't know. But again, they have a big fleet. And there's nothing much, not much we can do about it. And our fiscal balance is poor. And the only concern left now is Audion. As soon as Audion shifts to green, then we need to do something. Zinlu is lost. It's going to become Pythagons after, uh, eventually. So I don't think we're going to do anything there. Zindel no one cares about, Buru no one cares about, so for now we're gonna trade goods out of them. Uh, Dej is gonna be lost, but we're just gonna conquer them instead, I think. Because we're gonna be at war with Audun, so we can just invade from Cathay. By then, yeah, before Dej falls under Devron, I want to finish my own continent. That's the goal. It's pretty much just one roadblock. And that is Haxaco City. So, we'll see how this pans out. But that'll be in the next episode. So thank you for watching. And I hope you'll continue to do so.